Hey there everybody, I'm Alan Ryde and I just wanted to make a, a super quick off-the-cuff video here on something I've been thinking about a lot. So on the channel I've been really fortunate uh, to have the chance to review some really nice bikes, some inexpensive bikes, and you guys know all the wacky experiments I do in the Cave of Bad Ideas. And one thing I've realized in this entire process is that there's really no perfect bike. So if you're just getting into cycling or have been in it for a long time, you know, don't stress out too much. You know, there's bikes that are really ideal for certain purposes, but there's not one bike that I've found, trust me, and I've looked, that will do everything you want to do. And along those lines, I also think, you know, if there was a perfect bike, it would be kind of boring. So definitely feel free to celebrate your imperfect bike, your bike that you've hacked together, that you've put mismatched parts. Because that's awesome. That's one of the beautiful parts about cycling is you can really express yourself in how you put your bike together. And I bring this up because you guys know I like to experiment. You know, I don't believe that the quote unquote best components are the best for everybody. So I like to mix and match. And I think a great example of that is uh, my Crust Bombora. It's seen many drivetrains, many kinds of shifters, and I think each configuration I've tried has its own merits. Is it the best for everyone? Of course not, but it's fun to experiment. So if you see someone out there on a bike ride that doesn't have you know, matching group set or hydraulic brakes, don't make fun of them. And if you see them with a different handlebar to saddle height than yours, or if their steer tube is long and uncut, or if their valves don't perfectly line up, to the tires, just keep it to yourself. What are you, sock Nazi? Okay, so we're at the uphill part. I'm gonna have to ride a little bit slower so I don't lose my breath. Well, I can appreciate a perfect, you know, matchy-matchy bike with full-on Axis or DI2. I actually think, for me personally, I, I think they're a little bit boring and soulless. I mean, if you like it and you love it, that's great for you. But that shouldn't be the metric by which everyone is measured. Because everyone has different tastes, different needs, different budgets. So I know full well that a lot of the bikes and stuff I review tends to be on the spendy side. And I'm trying to find bikes that I personally would recommend that are less expensive. It's a bit of a challenge, but there are a couple options that might come in through the, the channel. So the point is, don't give someone grief if they don't have perfectly matched group set, or if their bike isn't as finished nicely as yours. I mean, as long as it works and it's not gonna kill them, then give people some grace. And that also goes for cycling clothes. You know, if you like to wear full kit, then cool, 100%. Not everyone views cycling as a sport. It would be absurd for a mom on a cargo bike to dress up in kit to go three blocks to pick up their kids or to ride a mile and pick up their kids. So think outside your bubble in cycling, whatever bubble it is. And I try to do that as well. And you might learn something new or make new cycling friends or find a new channel that you enjoy. So ride what you like, let others ride what they like and celebrate kind of the quirky different ways people express themselves on bike. There's no perfect bike. There's no one way to ride a bicycle. Speaking of which, uh, I'm gonna do lots of things to the Crust Bombora that's gonna make the most OCD bike mechanics crazy. I've got this crazy shifter, a dropper post. So if you're one of those types that likes your bikes perfectly matchy-matchy, you should probably unsubscribe because things are gonna get weird on the channel and I'm okay with that. In fact, that would make a great sticker. Keep bicycling weird. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the next video, keep the supple side down.